Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am actually skipping story 11 because that's got to go on the back of here and I still haven't uh, closed out this sequin pocket. We're going to do story 12 and that's going to be my wrapping paper this year. So I got some scraps of the wrapping paper and I'm going to put them in this four by uh, two pocket or two by two pocket, whatever. It's a four, three by four square pocket, rectangle, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what I can do. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by trimming down my wrapping paper to three by four because I think I'm just gonna tuck them into each of the pockets and be done with it. I'm thinking this is gonna be quick, easy. I'm not even gonna decorate. This is just gonna be pretty wrapping paper on the page. However, I do decide to decorate a little bit so I end up trimming down the paper. Now let's talk about wrapping paper for a few minutes, okay? I used to, uh, buy the cheapest wrapping paper I could because, you know, it looks pretty for a minute under the tree. You take your photo and then your kids tear into it and it's trash, right? So it really was a struggle because the wrapping paper would tear while you were wrapping. I spent more on tape patching up the cheap wrapping paper, right? So then one year I decided to buy expensive wrapping paper and that was terrible, uh, because it didn't tear, it didn't rip, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't great. So I ended up finding some, you know, relatively inexpensive wrapping paper. I get my wrapping paper at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it is a good thickness, it's a good quality, it cuts cleanly, like you can just run your scissors straight up the line. Um, you don't have to like open and close your scissors. Um, and it has grid lines on the back, right? So you're always going to cut a straight line. So I just really love Hobby Lobby wrapping paper. Um, every year I pick out uh, usually two different designs of wrapping paper, sometimes three. This year I went for three. I got this khaki colored snowflake paper. Um, I also got uh, this red and white kind of holly and berry and greenery paper. And then there is this wreath paper and it alternates between the wreath with the bow and a wreath that says Merry Christmas on the inside of it. And I just liked the way that these three papers looked together. And I, you know, I'm picturing it in my head of what it's going to look like underneath of the tree Christmas morning. Now, like I said, I am skipping story 11. We'll go back to that one. Um, but this is going to be story 12. And um, I decided to not... This is where I decided that it wasn't just going to be wrapping paper in here. And um, when I put the 12 over top of that khaki snowflake paper, I was really liking the way that looked. So I am going to trim it down. Now I'm making sure that I have colors on this particular layout that I have throughout the album. So I have the green, the red, the black, the white, and cream all going on on this page. Now, if mixing white and cream gives you the heebie-jeebies, I'm sorry, um, but in this case, I'm okay with it. Um, I really just love, I love Christmas, you guys. Like, I just love it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I want in my Christmas album. Um, I do what I want anyway in my scrapbook, so why would I change it up for my December project? Still haven't decided if we're doing until December 25th or if I'm going until the end of the year. We'll have to see how thick the book gets. Um, but I am going to go ahead and add a label and a sticker on top of this. So I've got these different layers of the Christmas greenery. Uh, because the background paper for that one has like the black and white and gray Christmas greenery. Then we have the wrapping paper, this little sticker, and um, the little chipboard piece that says, Tis the season to be jolly. So now I go in and I find uh, this striped paper. It's going to be the perfect background for the wreath. And I'm not, you know, flipping out or freaking out or anything like that, that the wreath is not uh, completely... Uh, showing that there's a little bit of it cut off. I'm okay with that because you know what? This is wrapping paper and the designs are going to get cut off anyway. Now I will tell you another little fun fact about my Christmas wrapping. I used to do bows 
Um, I used to do the pre-bagged bows, you know, the ones that you can get in the store, you just peel off the sticky back and slap them on. Um, I did that at first, and then I wanted to up my present game, so I did um, ribbon bows and, you know, all that kind of stuff, and, you know, tags, and I just, my packages for a couple years were, like, on point, and then I decided, you know what, it's not worth it. So, uh, presents don't get bows unless they're like presents I'm giving to people outside of our house. And, uh, you get your name written on your package with a Sharpie and that's just the way it is. Um, so there it is. I'm not even ashamed of it. Works for us. Um, so now I am going to pull out these, uh, presents right here because since this is wrapping paper I'm going like I want you to see the wrapped presents on here and of course the presents uh the sticker presents that I have um are all gorgeous with you know ribbon and trim and bows and all that kind of good stuff on them um so it's a little bit fancier than um what it is in real life now I thought I was going to use this uh piece right here, trim down the decorations and just use the line bits so that I could have um, some journaling. And then I realized that I actually need a lot more space um, to write down my journaling. Not that I really have a lot to say about the wrapping paper. Um, like I'm not going to wax poetic or anything like that, but I do need a little bit more space. And I really didn't like how um, it gapped. Like I want it to have a border around it uh, like I did on all of the wrapping papers. Now, again, the borders on the wrapping papers, the wrapping paper is not cut completely straight. And I kind of like that because this is wrapping paper and not scrapbook paper. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that in the moment. So I end up getting a grid mat uh, card and I just trim it down. Now I'm going to add this gold sparkly tape um, because I don't have any sparkle yet on this page, and that's a problem because, you know, I love sparkle, I love glitter, I love all that good stuff. Um, so I go ahead and uh, pop that down on there, and then I'm going to use some pop foam right there just to lift up this last little present. And then I grab my Muji pen, and I'm going to journal about the wrapping paper. So I just say very succinctly what I spent, I don't know, four or five minutes telling you about wrapping paper, how I bought three different designs this year, and I love how they look together, and Hobby Lobby has the best wrapping paper, and so that's where I bought it. Um, I'm paraphrasing here. Um, I'm not really... It's exactly... It's not exactly what I said, but it's paraphrased. I'm not looking at it right now. Um, trying to also listen to the conversation that's going on in the other room. Um, so there it is, guys. My Story 12 with the four 3x4 three four pockets. I hope you guys are having an amazing Christmas Eve Eve. Um, that is a holiday in our household. So I will see you guys again real soon for another video.